guys, Rexer here. Welcome back to some more Killer in Purple 2. Today, we're going to be playing the brand new release of the demo. Now, guys, this got a whole new spin to it. I can't even tell you. I don't even know if we're going to be able to fit all the stuff that is in this game now into one video. But we're going to try our very best. This game is absolutely insane. The way that Golden Freddy Cinemas is pumping out these new demos is crazy. So let's go ahead and continue because I've been trying to work on my money, get my money right just a little bit. We have literally the most basic setup you can possibly get. Now, guys, before we even go into this, I just want to say, if you want to see some more Five Nights at Freddy's content, especially Killer and Purple, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. We have less than 50% of the people who watch these videos subscribing, so if you guys could just do me one big favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button right away, and make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys are first one in for awesome content like this. So, let's go into here. We need to collect just a little bit of money. The first thing we're going to be doing, there is a whole bunch of stuff. I just want to go and point that out. A whole bunch of stuff. Like, come. I'm just gonna leave it as a surprise for now, but we're gonna try our best to get enough money as quickly as possible without getting... Alright, that's fine. I think we'll have enough. Actually, we'll have enough. I think. I... If not, we can always come back and try and earn some more money, but my goal is to try and get into the city because you guys are gonna be absolutely blown away by the new update. So here we go, driving our way to the city. As trying our best not to crash. Now, it, it, to me, like I was saying earlier, as it's insane how quickly GFC has been popping out these demos. This one is a big one, though. It is the biggest update I think I've ever seen. And it all starts over here in the city. And you know that you guys already what the heck? I always blow my car up to smithereens. So we're gonna buy the city real quick. And uh, so, like I was saying, the update takes place over here. Obviously, there's a new update to the prison, but Fred Bear and Friends Family Diner has also been updated. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the animatronics in the diner are now playable. At least I sure hope so. Oh, this? You know what, guys? Remember the last time we played this and I was, like, trying to figure out the street? I think this is the actual street. I could be wrong, but I think this is the actual street. Now, we're probably going to break up this new update into two parts, maybe even three, but we're going to start off here. So here we go. We're going to get out of the car and go into Fred Bear's Family Diner. There we are. Nice and easy. And uh, wait, it's already built for us? That's pretty cool. So we don't even have to worry about building it. Also, there's no music. Why is this caged off? <laughs> there's no music, which is kind of weird. I, I don't know what to, to say about it, but hey, I mean, we're, we're going to take it. So... Kind of expensive for two animatronics. Spring Bonnie and Fred Bear. Um, should we just buy them both, guys? I think we should, right? So let's unlock and unlock. Now, I'm assuming when it turns into night, these animatronics are going to start moving. So let's just try and fast forward that and see exactly what they start doing. We're already at noon noon o'clock. At noon in the game. Hopefully, these guys jump off the stage and, uh, you know, uh, not kill me, but come after us. Actually, I wonder what happens if they get me. If they do jump scare me, do you go all the way back to your original pizzeria? Or do you just go outside of Fred Bear and Friends? That's kind of interesting. I guess we could figure out. I My hope is that it just doesn't bug. That's the worst thing that could possibly happen. Is that we're playing this and then all of a sudden we get bugged out and the game shuts down. And all the money that we've put in just goes for nothing. Come on now. What are you guys going to do? What are you got? It's your move. Here we go. Alright, so it's about to be midnight so maybe they don't attack let me back up i'm a little close what these guys don't even attack all right gfc you got some explaining to do bro your animatronics don't even attack that's fine let's see can we customize this pizzeria okay so we can't even customize it either do you jump scare me if i come up really close to you no okay that's kind of weird i would have thought they would definitely have tried to kill me but i guess not so i guess we're in the clear let's go outside there's more updates than just that and here we go so it's nighttime. i kind of played myself by doing that but that's fine i, I kind of like it it's more peaceful the music is really nice it's nice and relaxing and uh i know i said there's no music in the pizza in fred bears but i'll probably put some type of track overlay oh my god so hot my office here we go let's turn okay without crashing the car can we learn how to drive finally? How long is it going to take us before we actually... Wait, 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 the police station's back there! Okay, reverse it, reverse it, reverse it. Let's check out the police station. I heard there's actually quite a bit of lore in the in there. GFC said to don't forget. He said make sure you go into the police station. There is some lore to add to the story, so we don't want to miss this, guys. Let's go ahead and jump in. So enter police station, and here we go. Uh, it doesn't... I mean... The... Can I pull out my knife? 
I still can do that. So GFC hasn't fixed that yet. I can still pull out my knife and honestly, just like the police, look at this. It, it's such a weird, this is such a weird look to me that the police officer, he will come chase me. What? What is up with all the grass? You know what? I just realized that. Oh my God, I'm sweating. What's going on? What? Wait, so this is the cell that we ended up in. Open jail cell. Let's go in. Can we crouch in here? Oh. Well, it's just the Golden Freddy plushie. It's nothing crazy. What does that sign say? Let's go over there. It says, Golden Freddy Cinema in prison. A small FNAF fan game developer known as Golden Freddy Cinema has been sentenced to prison for making a game about killing children. He said that he got paid by Fazbear Entertainment to make a sequel to an old simulation game made in 1987 called Killer in Purple. The game Killer in Purple is an experiment with an unknown maker still to this day. Golden Freddy Cinema's statement was in... Wait, what? It was made invalid. Because he stated a person called William Afton contacted him for the project Killer in Purple 2. Fazbear Entertainment stated that William Afton sadly died around 30 years in the Springlock failure. Golden Freddy Cinema has been sentenced to a lifetime for breaking Dave development rules and lying to a judge. Alright, GFC, well that explains why you're not going to be coming out with any updates anytime soon. So, at least, guys, you know, we could have some clarity. Obviously, he's in jail, so we're not going to see anything for the next couple days. All right, let's check out one more thing, if not two. I know they're supposed to be a uh, helicopter or something around here, but I don't remember before the update there being like a helicopter pad, so we're gonna have to find that. This is all censored. Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay, let's let, what, what? I'm not, no, no way. You're leaving me stranded all the way out here. We're definitely just starting over. There is absolutely no way I'm starting all the way out there. Please do not continue me in the, oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> Thank God, bro, I was not doing that. Reset my car. Try not to bump it too hard, I guess. Let's flip it all around. Let's find, there's supposed to be a helicopter around here. At least, that's what I was thinking. Let's go this way. Let's go this way and try. It, it has to be in the city. GFC told me before he put the helicopter in that he was going to add it to the city. So it has to be somewhere over here. I don't want to ride anywhere near that little road over there because it literally destroys my car. So let's try and just take a left slowly. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, slow down. Take a ride, yay, yay, okay, wow, wow, wow. All right, there we go, much better. It kind of looks like there's something down here. Wait, now that leads to Fazbear and Friends. And uh, yeah, it, it has to be over here, right guys? I hope so. It does say that this, wait, what does that say? Work in progress, but there's something actually in the background. I want to see what it's, what, what's over here. Because remember guys, there wasn't this many trees. This was just like a cleared out forest before. So hopefully, the, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want this drive to go for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is kind of odd. You know what? The more I think about it, why did he put a helicopter in the game? Take a right. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's definitely something new over here. Whether there's a helicopter or not, something new. And we're probably going to have to pay to unlock the helicopter, guys, right? It can't be that easy. Wait, what is this? What is this? Take a left. It says, welcome to... Uh, welcome to what? Uh, Hurricane Utah. Oh, okay. All right, now it's starting to make sense. Can we... This is the end of the city, though. What's that working pro... Wait, oh, you can buy something over here. All right, that has to be the helicopter then. It has to be the helicopter, and this is supposed to be some type of, like, flight pad, I guess? Maybe? $10,000 for the helicopter. Well, we're in luck, guys. We have 14, so that's absolutely perfect. Let's buy it and, uh, can you actually drive it? Whoa. Okay, so Q to throttle up, E to throttle down, W for forward, and, all right, so why am I not moving? Q to throttle up, E to throttle down, oh wait. Status, stand by. Oh, E to throttle up, oh, that's what it is. Okay, so, there it goes. Oh, that's kind of cool. You actually fly it like a real helicopter. Okay, not bad. I like this. Don't tell me we can crash into the work progress site. What? It just moves out of the way? 
All right, so we shouldn't have to throttle up anymore. It should be a pretty easy flight. Oh my god, this is so much better to travel in. Ah, oh, it would have been cool if you put some type of Easter egg out there. Okay, how do you get out? Because I'm kind of thinking about just flying over the pizzeria and then jumping out and seeing whatever happens to the helicopter happens, but the map is not as big as I thought, to be honest. Wait, what's that? Why is there just a random pile of trees over here? That's got to be some type of lore, right? It has to be. It'd be cool if you were flying up above the city and you could just see different animatronics moving in the forest. Some twisted animatronics. Oh, okay, so they just didn't render yet. So I really wonder what these other censored buildings are going to be. I, was one of these censored buildings at first the Fazbear's Pizzeria, you think? Or Fazbear and Friends? I had to have been, right? Alright, that's our normal city. And then our house is over there. Wait, I can't move. Does it not let you move over the city? What the heck? Alright, maybe we need to just throttle down. Maybe we can, if we throttle down, we can move into the city. There we go. There we Okay. Oh, I'm just stuck, guys. I don't know what it is. It's got to be a bug. Can we get out? Can we just leave the helicopter in the sky? What? What? Hey! Are we going to die? I just fell out of the helicopter. <laughs> oh, come on. You should definitely have it to where you could reset the helicopter over here, too. That would be helpful. I'm still pretty confused as to why there is a helicopter in the game, but regardless, I mean, we'll we'll definitely just figure the rest out, I guess. Just for you. Let's continue to grab some kids because there is a bunch of new stuff that we still need to unlock. So come on in, kiddos. We are going to finish off unlocking some of the other things, and we need some money. So we're going to bring you as close to this trash compactor as absolutely possible. <laughs> there we go. There, okay, okay. Let's put the kids. There we are. Yeah, there we go, guys. Perfect. Now, let's go back outside. This way, I mean, not fully outside. And uh, open up our menu. So, he did tell me that the kitchen also has a new update. So, let's try out the kitchen. Apparently... Uh, you know, this is just like from what I've heard. Wait, 2500 Everything costs money. A pizza machine and a pizza machine. All right, let's unlock one pizza machine at least. So these now, this pizza machine will now start creating pizzas. And we will get paid based off of the amount of customers we feed. So it's almost like a cooking mama simulator now with a FNAF style game. And a helicopter and animatronics that want to kill you. And it's a whole bunch of stuff. So here we go. Our very first pizza is coming out of the oven. Let's go ahead and grab it when it comes out. And there we go. And let's try and feed these hungry waiting customers. And hopefully we get some money for it. Do I have a pizza in my hand? I do. There we go. Oh, so you actually do make money. So it's probably best that you got two of these puppies going at the same time. Actually, this makes pizzas really quickly. Should I just wait for a third one? Might as well. Okay, so I got three pizzas. At least I should. Maybe even four. And we should be able to... There we go. Ten dollars? That's it? Ten bucks? That's insane! That's a lot of work. You gotta kill kids and make pizzas and you only get ten dollars per pizza? That's pretty wild. Alright, come on in, kiddos. Let's, uh, I mean, this guy just randomly walked in, so we might as well take advantage of the fact that he's in here. Don't let him escape. I'm <laughs> Knife in one hand, pizza in the other. Look at this. Knife in one hand, pizza in the other. This kid is just, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Wow, I just flung these kids everywhere. So, there is a lot more updates, guys. I hate to just leave you guys on a whirl here, but there is plenty of more updates where these came from. So, if you would like to see the rest of the updates, definitely make sure you guys hit that like button. We will come back with probably even a double upload tomorrow because you guys know when a new Killer in Purple update comes out. Oh, I thought that was a spaceship. It's just a lighthouse. When a new Killer in Purple episode comes out, you know I always want to be the first one for awesome content like that. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you would like to see some more again, smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more awesome FNAF content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, have an amazing rest of your night. And peace. Hey!